Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. I'm Miserable, and this is Collect Effect, where we show our collection some affection from Power Rangers to anime, Marvel, DC, and sometimes the random pickup. We've been on this Ninja Turtle kick for some time, and well, if you're seeing my selfie series video, y'all know I'm a TMT fan. So we are continuing with the Universal Monster crossover. April New. As bright as I can say. Let's go. So let's start off with the box. Per usual, per usual. Like a nice, like a nice. Like like how that yellow color just pops out. You know, and you know the skin tone, like oh just gives me chills, alright? They got that shit right. The eyes, yo man, love the coloring they got going on, and of course you know, you can't have Frankenstein or a bride of Frankenstein without some lightning in the background. So, yeah, nice touch, nice touch. They, here on this side, you got the, the figures that are out. Of course, I think by this time, Splinter is out. So, we kind of skipped out on Mikey. He wasn't available at the time of purchase. But, yeah, we're, uh, we'll see him in a couple weeks, in a couple. And you know, here you got the top side, the short and short and cropped out picture with the logos, and you get some more of that on the other side panel. Oh, going it upside down. You know, a good old VHS VHS style. But yeah, and on the back we got some dialogue going on. Let's uh read that out. It's the shocking tale of the Bride of Frankenstein. You know, y'all can just go back to that. Let me read it where I can see invisibly. Witness all the gruesome journalism. Okay, that's funny. I gotta laugh at that. Warning, the monster demands a reporter. Ha! Huh. Okay, I really look like how they worked in. These are uh, April O'Neil stuff. Big fan of that. Ripped from the dead. Okay. Okay, I'm down with the puns. Ripped from the deadlines. Breaking news. She's alive and electrified. Hair raising horror. And if y'all want to zoom in or take a pic of that, I'll let y'all. But you know what? Okay, I love the puns too much. Let's get to the reporter herself, April O'Neil. All right, guys, so here we go. Let's start off with the accessories. But before we get to see what is before you, we will go ahead, show off her extra head. She does have an extra head. This one does have a little smart smile going on. Yeah, try and see if you can see it. Like the way they have the cheekbones and the eyes. Of course, this one also comes with a set of lightning bolt earrings. No, they're not detachable, but there we go. It is a nice touch. And I really got, I really love the, the thing they got going on with the hair. Double layered, double colored. But yeah, that's uh... Get this in focus. Yeah, and I just really love the overall color of it. But let's go ahead. Get on to the accessories. You know. At first I was kind of like, huh? But yeah, taking a closer look at it. This is the mic. That she has. It's a lightning rod, obviously. But you can see it's a mic. Also they have. The gauge attached, you know, with the volume and everything. And, you know, yeah. I think it's pretty cool. You know, in the way... It, it just feels like it's a stick. You can feel the reps. And you can, you can actually feel the detail on the gauge. Yeah. I love that sort of thing. You got, you got the D, T, D, uh, sorry about that. You got the WTRI logo 
up top. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see what else she has. She has two grippy hands. Now, I love the way these look. They're nice and wrapped. You think she'd be dead almost, huh? But yeah, that's uh, yeah. Then she has this spider hanging around. They could have easily just given us a black spider, but it's not just a spider. There's actually some uh, orange coloring to it. No, the the back side, well, the belly of it is all black but you know that's I really love that they actually gave attention to that part we got these two mutated rat friends one with a giant ear and another with a giant eye <laughs> like, see, I didn't even notice this at first, but uh, once I gave it a closer look, I was like, oh, that's that's nice. And the eye even has some detail to it. So, yeah. Then we have our carrying bag, which comes with a padlock. No, you can't unlock it. It's just there for decoration. And you have a bone sticking out of the bag. Nice touch. It's probably something dead in there. You got the chain. It's real chain. So yeah, I love the detail. Now, she only comes with one side. But this could be in relation to the monster. Or this could be a reference to something. Now, I know what it's referencing. But do you consider this your uh, TMNT history knowledge? If you know why they only gave you gave her one side, go ahead. Tell me what you think. Why they did that in the comments? And who knows? I'll probably touch you out in the next video. But moving on to April O'Neil herself. As you can see, she comes with two. Open palm hands. So, yeah, that is why she has a grippy, grippy fingers. Yeah, she comes with these bandages. Now, these bandages do have a sort of texture to them. Oh, and I just noticed her legs are stitched up as well. Her hands aren't too stitched up, but you can see some stitchings. There is a slight texture to them. Really like how that came out. You know, I'm sure there's a gauge under the under the coat. As you can see the necklace here. You can see she has it's connected to something, but is the jacket removable? Maybe, maybe. Well, definitely. But I'm not gonna even try to mess with all that oh and look there i'm not sure if you can tell but yeah and there well i'm not sure if that's a shirt or if that's something of a gauge but yeah the jacket is does seem like it's removable Yeah, but yeah, she has a nice under shirt going on. She has a lot of these uh, creepy cult crawly friends around. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So she has six not including the big one as decor. Oh no, and look, there is another little one. So she has seven spiders on her. 
And uh, you know, I love the jacket, the way how it, how it has its uh, holes. It's a uh, nice, worn. You can tell it comes from a dead person. Yeah. But yeah, overall, I'm really liking car. You know, obviously the hands, they move to the side. You know, pose them different ways. The head joint is a bit loose, but that also might have to do. Oh, you can't see her. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave her waving something. But yeah, her neck joint is like looser, you know, compared to the other ones. Oh, did a whole 360 spin. But yeah. Her legs obviously are a bit limited due to the jacket. But like I said, it is removable. It does seem that way. But her feet do a twist and turn to your desire. Oh, mm. Yeah, yeah, the boots kind of seem to, the boots seem to kind of keep her feet in place, but, you know, it's not, you wouldn't want to move it too much anyway. I think people can, can get creative with the poses, but, yeah, so far I'm liking this monster lineup. You know, I got to get Mikey at some point. I'm getting, um, what's the rat's name? Splinter. I'm getting Splinter, you know, soon after I get, uh, Mikey. And they just announced, uh, Phantom of the Opera, Casey Jones. Now, is there a monster that I would want? Mm, you know, I was kind of hoping for a, a Jekyll Hyde for, uh, for Donatello. But, seems like Donatello's gonna be... Invisible Man, I'm not too mad about that, but let me know what y'all think so far of this team and team monster lineup. Let's go ahead and give her a pose. We'll close out the video.